Okay, so I have decided to uh, put some leather pieces in here, some patches, and uh, as you can see, Jason's completely fixed uh, the neck. I've re-stitched this whole piece here I'm using just a white thread. I've re-stitched it without the interface because I just wanted to make it a little lighter. I wanted to express the pure elements of the leather so I didn't put the synthetic materials back in you can see here his um Jason's work you might remember this was all busted and full of holes and now it's not and uh, you can see his workmanship down here amazingly you cannot feel the uh, this leather patch so on the skin uh, it's just because he's put it through a shaver it's really really thin and I can't feel it at all. So, uh, using the same technique, um, I took some pieces of uh, goat fur that I had, and also um, some of the off cuts from this jacket, and I've just shaved it down using a pair of scissors, and I've glued them. And what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm just going to put some stitching around them to reinforce them. I found uh, some more areas that were looking, that hadn't broken yet, but they were looking weak, and the way I detected them was by putting the jacket in sunlight, the light coming through the jacket, I could see the the zones that were, that were probably going to break in the next 12 months, so I just um, got some pen marks and pen marked it, and then... Um, cut pieces, shaved it, and then I've glued them, and now I'm just going to stitch them in a couple of spots to make sure it doesn't come off, and then it's ready to have the lining put in there, so pretty close to finishing this now. Here are the um, some off pieces, so this is the piece, this is just a piece of goat skin, it's just a, an off cut, this is before it's been shaved, and then you can see how I've just shaved it down to get rid of the bulk. So I'm using a, um, they call it a sail making thread needle. The thread I'm using is one that I use on denim. And this is, um, this is something I made. So it's just a conventional needle and I've put a, a bend on it. I'm just bunching the patches and I'm just applying some stitch just to strengthen it. Unfortunately the glue I'm using uh, hasn't bonded very well so I've resorted to using something like this to this one's come out not too bad. See some of the other ones like along here. It's looking pretty good.